Hey there, welcome to Old Man Runner. In today's video, I'm going to review this, the Nike Pegasus 38. First, I'm going to go on a run around Dublin in them. Then I'm going to put them on the turntable and list their specifications. Then I'm going to review them. And finally, I'm going to see if I can recommend them. I bought these shoes because my nephew keeps asking me, why don't you review some Nike shoes? And um, when I was his age, I used to run Nike shoes all the time. I had uh, a pair of Huaraches uh, when they were new. Uh, <laughs> shame I don't have the box and them in the original condition. Um, but I thought uh, as I've got older, I've started got interesting, interested in more different types of shoes from Atreyu, from Innovate, uh, all sorts of different shoe manufacturers that I feel I can get a better handle on what they're doing. With Nike, there's so much stuff. It's really hard to figure out. But I figured if I got this, their most popular shoe, and review it and hopefully review it well, then hopefully some people will watch some videos about the more obscure shoes from Atreo or Innovate or all the other shoes that I like to review. But I am looking forward to running in this shoe. So, uh, well, just do it, I hear you say. So let's crack on. As this is Nike's most popular shoe and we live in a democracy, I thought I'd take them down and run around the department of the Taoiseach, uh, our prime minister. Uh, tenuous? Yeah, but let's run and see the shoe in action. enjoyed the video of me running around Marion Street. I certainly did. Uh, I was totally surprised. I got absolutely zero hassle from anyone from security where I've been moved on so many times making these videos from places you think, what? what's going on? But anyway, uh, absolutely no hassle. Uh, thank you, government officials. Let's put the shoe on the turntable and look at their specifications. This shoe is a US 13 EU 47.5 UK 12 CM 31. The shoe measures 302 millimeters long internally. In this size, it weighs in the left shoe 362 grams or 12.8 ounces, and in the right shoe 366 grams or 12.9 ounces. Now Nike on their website don't give a weight or a drop or a stack height, but I got the stack height and the drop off podium runner at 10 millimeter drop and 27.5 millimeter stack height. Nike say this about the Pegasus 38. Your workhorse with wings returns. The Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 38 continues to put a spring in your step using the same responsive foam as its predecessor. Breathable mesh in the upper combines the comfort and durability you want 
with a wider fit at the toes. Let's review the shoe and see if what Nike says is true. Nike say that this, the uh, Pegasus 38, is more breathable. So we'll stick in the stick of light and we'll turn it on and we'll see. When I first got this shoe, it didn't seem so breathable because I suppose because it's black in color. But actually, it is very breathable. It's also, um, you can see the light come through the heel. I know it's, it's, it's bright day, so perhaps not as easily. But it is, a, it is actually a breathable upper. Um, the, uh, the laces are really easy to put on. They've got these little, fab instead of eyelets, they've got little fabric loops. Um, very, very easy shoe to put on. Uh, it's very comfortable. There's a, the, the tongue is, is thin compared to some of the shoes I have, um, but it's comfortable. I like it like that. And uh, I do like the heel like a boat shape. Um, Hoka One One, I've started doing an, an inverted point at that time. I don't know if it makes any difference, but uh, the heel is nice. It's, it's a comfortable shoe to put on. Um, the liner inside is really simple. There's nothing much to it. Uh, Nike say the toe box is larger than it used to be. Um, and this is a, a ordinary or normal width shoe. Um, and so from my point of view, it fit true in my, my fat feet, um, uh, but fits just fine. Nike say that the midsole has a Nike React foam with a Zoom airbag in the forefoot. I can't actually, I can't feel any noticeable bag when I run along, but it's a comfortable shoe to run in. Um, there's reasonable traction on the outsole. Um, you can see there's not deep lugs, but there's, there's a fair amount of grip going on in this shoe. I find the design of these shoes uh, to be a little bland, but I think that's possibly intentionally so. Uh, this was the first colorway that they were available in, so I just went and, and bought them. Um, I like, I mean, I like the differentiation of the colors, um, and I like, I particularly like these uh, blue and red uh, sort of eyelets. Um, on the front, this particular one, the right shoe, it says established 1972, Nike. Uh, and on the left shoe, there's a Nike swoosh. But other than that, I mean, they're inoffensive. But the great thing about this shoe is that you can customize it. Now, in my size, it's not available yet, but in the smaller sizes, you can customize it. It's available, first of all, in about four or five colorways have been added on, um, but you can customize I mean, I had a lot of fun on the Nike configurator and, uh, yeah, came up beautiful varieties of this shoe and where one half is one color, one's another. There's, there's so much you can do to make this a shoe that really will be your own. And uh, in, that, in that sense, I think it's a, a great bit of this design because you can, you can literally customize it yourself. I think it's an extra 20 bucks or 20 euro or something like that. For me, that'd be well worth it. Um, the shoe is also going to be available in a huge amount of variants. Nike have got a fly ease concept. Some of it's on, it's quite extreme on some of the shoes and I think it's great that they're doing it. Um, but on this shoe, there's one with a zip down the side and then you can zip and, and tie the laces. Uh, sometimes when I see those on, on boots and things, I think that's just, people just like the look of laces. Um, but, I, but I think it might be a bit better in the Nike version where I think uh, you can tighten it using this probably in advance uh, and then and then use the zip to just put them on and off and uh, so you're only ever tightening once and, and not having as much um, manual operations to put on a shoe and uh, I think they're to be congratulated for that and for a wide variety there'll be a trail version there'll probably be loads and loads of versions but initially this was the one I got the other thing funny enough what I think about that on this colorway that it's just slightly didn't didn't like is that your eye is drawn up to the swoosh coming up this way so it's sort of drawn up here but just as it's drawn up and just in this particular colorway this takes it down that way so there's this tension between your eye kind of leading that way and uh, your your eye going up that way maybe that's just me um but yeah there's lots of colorways that i do love this shoe in just not available for me as yet the fit and feel of this shoe is just like Pretty much everything about it is, 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 is fine. Uh, it feels fine to run in. It's very easy to take on and off. Uh, it's, it's not too heavy and, and the fit is good. Um, and there is a reasonable amount of grip and traction on the outsole. This shoe costs, in Ireland anyway, €119.99. Nike just call it 120 like you do in your dollars. 120 bucks or £104.95. Uh, I think this is good value. But I think even better value will be the 37, which is around in so many variations. There's probably very little difference. This may be more breathable. It may be slightly wider, according to Nike. Um, 
but the uh, they'll come in wider widths and all sorts of stuff. There'll be so much 37s and there'll be so much value on them that you could also consider that. But it is, at this, I think it's a reasonably priced shoe. I buy a lot of shoes, <laughs> probably too many, um, and I buy particular shoes for particular tasks. But what if you only wanted to buy one shoe? Well, this shoe is a reasonable choice. It's reasonably priced, it's reasonably comfortable, it's got a reasonable pace to it, it's got a reasonable appearance. It is the quintessential reasonable choice. Should you buy this shoe? There's not one run I did last year that I couldn't have done in this shoe. You can run on the sandy beaches, uh, you can run on the light trails, you could run in the wet, it's not waterproof, but it would clean off. Um, it's got a reasonable amount of grip. I could have run the marathons. I, there's shoes I would have run faster in them, but I could have run them and I would have been feeling pretty good at the end. I wouldn't have been sore or beat up. This shoe can pretty much do everything at a reasonable standard. So, if you're the reasonable man on the Clapham Omnibus and you want to start running, you know, you could start here. It's a great shoe and it's a tremendous achievement. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it'd be great if you'd hit the like button. As always, I'll put lots of stuff in the links in the description below and it will answer any questions you have in the comments. There'll be a blue subscribe button popping up there and some related videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.